One month into their disappearance, three U.S. contractors who went missing in Iraq have been freed, according to Iraqi intelligence sources. The Iraqi government is said to have received the Americans after its special unit secured their release. But the details of how their return was negotiated remains a mystery. U.S. Defense Department spokesman Peter Cook confirmed that the men were contractors working on behalf of the U.S. State Department, but denied that his country had any part in their recovery. At the time of their kidnapping, the men's origin was presumed to be Iraqi, but held dual U.S. citizenship as covered by local and global news. While the search effort has safely ended, little information is known about the perpetrator responsible for the abduction. At a press conference in Cairo last month, Iraqi Defense Minister Khalid al-Ubaidi disclosed this much. The trio, last seen in the southern eastern Dora district in Baghdad, an area where Iranian-backed militias operate, were snatched close to their driver's home. But other sources have claimed that they were kidnapped from the private apartment that they had been staying at. Some analysts have argued that the act was intended to weaken the reputation of Prime Minister Abadi, and despite his sustained dismissal of Iranian involvement, others have blamed Tehran loyal militias for the abduction. Mr. Abadi, is there an Iranian link to the three kidnapped Americans? I don't know about that. I doubt it very much. I, we don't know even they're kidnapped, to be honest with you. They just want missing. But even after their safe recovery, speculation continues to loom large, with many questions left unanswered. What was once fixable is now plundered beyond repair. This is the latest and befitting title of a detailed article from last month's Iraq Oil Report. It depicts the sorry state of affairs in Beji today, Iraq's largest refinery that has been erased by ferocious battles between Iraqi forces, allied militias and the Islamic State. The unimaginable is now a disheartening truth, a situation considered to be the worst that Iraq's oil industry has ever been hit by. Ex-president of Iraq's refineries and gas administration, Saad al fethi was moved to tears as he spoke of the Beji he and others knew, a far cry from what lies there today. Beji Allah ya'lam ish gadi ishtagalna Beji Allah ya'lam ish shon saar Beji wa shon saarat al Madina kulha mun wara Fathi detailed the extent of the damages to the oil city and condemned a little known controversy the theft and illegal sale of the refinery's infrastructure in an article Fatay authored, he stated that, when I wrote my column on the looting of Beji, I was careful to mention only what I can refer to other observers, whether written or verbal. I did not mention a lot of what I was told or thought may be happening for the lack of corroboration. And yet some unverified evidence of looting has begun to surface online. Images such as these purport to show theft of equipment from Beji for resale purposes. Circulating claims have found militias responsible for the latest surge of theft and sabotage and are also accused of preventing inspectors from accessing the area. The Iraq oil report makes no mention of these developments but does state that several auctions have been held inside the city to attract business through illegal sale of inoperative equipment. Saad al Fatri has urged the government to fulfil its mandate in protecting the site and its inhabitants, but also to ensure that stolen items are returned safely.